Hey guys, how you doing? We're back and uh, yes, um, today I think we're going to build a cow farm. Now, I hadn't really planned on going through with uh, that immediately after the episode about the clock design, but uh, I'm kind of um, struggling for inspiration on an aesthetic build so um as i do we're going to fall back on a technical build instead so i've extended our little path network out along here and uh quite like the little bridge bit there but uh we come along here admire the imaginary sheep that was just there and well, how do we get vines up there? <laughs> um, yep, we come along here, and I've cleared out and leveled off an area here. And this is where we're going to bung the um, cow cooker death machine. So, um, first thing I'm going to do is. Let's see. Um, let's figure out. Let's figure out how it's going to look first. Uh, yeah. So what we're going to do is. Let's have a think. Right. I think what we'll do is we will keep the cows in uh, like a little meadow pasture thing. Uh, in fact, what we'll do is we'll make it one, two, three, four, or five, six, seven, eight, eight long. Like that, uh, just uh, so that we can run water over it. Um, do, 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 do. There we go. Yeah, so the cows will live in there, and we will. I'll rip this stone out and put grass down um, and then we'll surround it around here with leaves um, yeah and I guess what I'll do is I'll put dispensers down here um, uh, now that will cause a problem because they'll create infinite sources along here. So let's see. We could do it the old fashioned way. If our water sources are here, we could have we could have pistons here along here to hold it back. Um still leaves us with a reasonable thing uh, size area in fact what we'll probably do is run this along here like so And we'll put our pistons. Ah, no, because you can't. You can't push these guys. So we'll use cobble or mossy. Maybe mossy. In fact, it might be better to line. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll line all around here in mossy. My goodness, <laughs> that was a deep hole. Right, and then uh, 
we shall have our platform here to breed the cows from. And now I can't get out. <laughs> um, and we are going to dig there and down here. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take advantage of um, a change in the game code. Um, baby animals have always had the same hitbox as adult animals. Um, however, as of, uh, I believe, just in this snapshot, which is 07A, or maybe the previous snapshot, um, they changed it and... They are now, baby animals are now slightly shorter than their adult counterparts. Um, and I was watching a video by Redeem, who uh, uh, is a guy I've watched videos of before, actually. Um, uh, but uh, it was a nice, short, punchy video, told me exactly what I needed to know. Um, and... Baby cows are actually one one block tall, and adult cows are taller than that. So, what we can do, we fill this in. So, when the water comes over this pad and pushes all the cows this way the adult cows will all kind of jump around here do, 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 as they're getting pushed by the water uh, and we can breed them and the baby cows will slip through into this channel and we can then run some water along here and let's see we'll bring them along here uh, da, 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 da. And along here, now is this going to be enough space? Uh, we'll bring them up a tube and drop them into the cook area. Yeah. And then what we'll do is we'll situate the clock for this affair down here somewhere. Or we'll dig a new hole maybe. Yeah, we'll just dig a hole. Um... So, yeah, 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 I think that's going to work. Um, I will get on with setting that up, and I'll come back to you. See you soon. Okay, right, so... I've got the pen laid out. Uh, yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Um, and what we're going to do is we are going to port a lever here and that will control the water. And I don't mind, you know, levers normally, you know, a bit too ghetto, but a uh, bit basic. But, you know, it, it, it's a cow pen. <laughs> doesn't need to be super, well, it doesn't need to be super fancy, but it doesn't need to look super fancy. So, we'll put that there and uh, run a wire down here. And what we'll do is... We'll put torches along there. Let's fill this in. And then what we can do is simply run redstone along here to turn those torches off. And that's so that we can put cobble there because the water will be on top of there. So, yeah. Um, along here.
Just so we can um, uh, prevent any spawns down here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah, that'll do. Along here. And then, how are we going to do this? Because if we do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's see, put that there, in fact. As much as I don't like to put um, redstone on dirt, um, that means we can just hide it a bit more effectively. Brilliant. Wonderful. And then it's just a case of giving ourselves a source here. Um, yeah, along here. And then we'll bring them up a glass tube. I think we will do that. Yeah, we'll do that just here. Um, and then what I'm going to do, because the cows are only what one block high, I'm not going to be able to do water sign, water sign, water sign. Um, I could do, there is a trick using glass panes that means you can kind of stagger it. Uh, um, but you have to be careful with currents otherwise they can get stuck in the glass panes and drown I could use ice but then they might still get stuck in there of course when they grow up they will then they would then actually make their way up but I think I think if we make a, a one more, a one by one tube we and it's solid source blocks all the way up, I don't think this go is gonna be going so high that it's gonna be necessary to um necessary to thingy. You know, what's it? Thingy doodler. Uh <laughs> um have any air spaces. I think they'll make the way up without taking any damage. I hope. So, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've had an idea. I've just had an idea. Which could be quite fun. <laughs> Let me think about this. What if instead of bringing them up a glass tube, we bring them up the inside of a tree? <laughs> Would that be stupid? It could be stupid. 
but I think I might do it. <laughs> yeah, right, okay. Um, I'll sort these, um, these water flows out and, uh, yeah, come back to you. Okay, um, I was working on this and I had an idea. So I'll show you what I've got so far. Um, water pushes them along here and it will push them onto this slab. And then we've got uh, this block of ice here um, and this block of ice here. Now this soil is just so, there's um, solid blocks up the middle of the trunk as it were. And this block is wants to be an airspace but in order to break the ice above it and get water I need a block there so I just put soil they'll get pushed into here they'll swim up in this block here um, this will have a sideward will have a flowing current facing that direction um, and it will just ensure that they get pushed back basically um, against this back wall so they don't get caught up anywhere and drown uh, and then they'll go up the middle of the trunk um, and I was building this tree here and I had an idea and I don't know if this works anymore because they've changed the way trees grow however I might be able to save myself some effort here uh, got clear sky up there <laughs> uh, made a mutant right so the oven will deposit into chests here and here no here and here So we'll want dispensers there, and let's see, not dispensers, hoppers, <laughs> um, and then dispensers there this might make this could make the redstone a bit tight um, I might need to bring this out a bit um, and then we shall and now I'm actually going to build this um, predominantly out of brick which is not a material I use a lot um, let's see now I'm going to give them a too wide space because I'm a little, um, I'm a little afraid that they will, um, thingy, um, hmm, that they will, um, when they grow up that they'll end up suffocating. Um, cause, uh, they might grow up and grow into a solid block, which would not be what we want. Right. Let's see. We need transparent blocks here. And it would be nice to actually put upside down stairs here. Um, so you get a window, but I think the baby cows will be able to get out. So, uh, Okay. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. Well, that looks kind of like an oven. I've never seen an oven that vents into a tree before, but... <laughs> Hey-ho. Um, we should be able to see the... Oh, cool. We can still get to that. Baby cows a little bit. And then I think, actually... Yeah, okay, so what we need to do is be able to pulse these dispensers. Um, let's rip out this corner. So if we directly power one of these dispensers with a lever, then that will power both because they're solid blocks. So this block is powered and by virtue of that, the, so does the dispenser. The, yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> um, and then, let's see. We need some way of bringing the power up to these dispensers that's not going to power these hoppers, basically. We don't want the hoppers to get powered. Um, and I think we also don't want to have a way that, that, that these guys, um, that the cows will be able to escape. So we can't have any gaps. Like, we'll have to have solid blocks there. Um... I think what we want to do is get a torch down here or two. Mm. Let's think. Now I bet. Can I get something through there? <laughs> no. Nope. Yeah, okay. Um, hmm. Let's think. Mm. How about... Okay, let me think and I'll come back to you. Uh, actually, that will provide a redstone update itself, so... Turn the torch off. Uh, to, a sapling gets fired from each. Turn it back on. And so does another one. Boom. So... Uh, oh. Am I recording my... Perhaps display's gone strange. Just a sec. Okay. So, I figured it out. Um, I've actually moved the lever on top of this dispenser. Uh, and I've put a torch stack in. And... Because um, um, I realised all I need to do... Is give a redstone update within two blocks. So... Lever down, it fires uh, a brick from each one, back up, and there. Now, obviously, um, yeah, 
I didn't explain, but these dispensers can have lava buckets in. So, um, so yeah, what I need to do is hook this torch stack up to the end of our 25 minute clock. Now, I think what I will do also <clears throat> excuse me I think I will put an edge detector on the end of the circuit that controls the pistons so that um, you come along flick this down breathe them and then when you flick this back up that starts the clock just to minimize the number of controls we got to use so next task is to build our 25 minute clock okay right let's take you through what we've got here um so down here we've got uh the seth seth blings seven and a half minute clock which is currently only running with a few items in there so it's going much faster than that um right so um uh let's see yeah you should remember this this is the counter from uh, last episode uh and what i did was um whoa mm. um so i'm taking the input the output from this um comparator and it goes through the block and into this redstone and for, and it's gonna go it goes um i see through there into some torches there's a torch below this block um which is currently off and also through a repeater that comes up um so there's a torch below this block um and this torch and so that torch is off and this torch is on and what this is is a monostable circuit so when this repeater powers up um you get a single tick pulse on this wire here so that puts these repeaters out for a tick unlocks these for a tick allowing the signal to progress um and then i've done two things so last episode i had an rs nor latch um and i realized what it could do was i could just take the output output from here so when this final repeater lights up I feed it straight back in instead of having like an RS null latch complicating the system so that feeds straight back into here locking up this hopper um, so that stops the clock uh, also I've run it into another monostable circuit here um so red uh non-inverted signal and an inverted signal and uh yeah ignore that the comparators there's just because i'm out of repeaters um and that feeds into the bottom of the torch stack um below this block there's a piece of redstone so it goes into the block into the redstone and into this block so that goes up the torch stack and um, over here to set the thing going at the end of the this redstone here I've got a yet another monostable and this one's set up to give a reasonably long delay um, and so when this power, this redstone comes on and the water's flowing because the pistons are down, nothing happens. However, if we can get an angle where we can see it. Um, 
as you can see the counter resets and that's because it powers this block which turns this torch off which is what's providing power to these repeaters and it turns this powers this block which turns this torch off and um, yeah that's that is it um, very tight I'm not going to go through it any further than that I think I may make a tutorial on the uh, on the clock itself because it's reasonably compact for what it does um, so yeah I think I might just put some cobble along here just to stop <laughs> just to stop any accidents happening with the water um, yeah so we just need to fill this up um, or let's first empty it okay actually. so that should do us Now, if we go and get some cows in, we can give this a test. Moo. <laughs> okay. Right, so let's see if this works. I hope so, because I haven't got time to fix it. Uh, if it doesn't. Okay, so. Get these guys all bred. Um, and I think I might have to put a delay on switching off because I don't really want to hang around waiting for the little cows to filter down but did they all go through? Right, I think so. So we should see these guys come through in into the cooker so in fact we can have a look i am um, i'm sure yeah oh dear right so something's wrong there Why will you not swim up? Okay. Um, yeah, the baby cows aren't going up the water column. Uh, it's definitely solid source blocks all the way up, so I don't really know why they're not going up here. Um, but I think that means I'm going to have to tear the tree down and build a, a spiral. Um, to take them up uh, but uh, oh hum uh, never mind um, I however have run out of time um, and I realise that yet again it's been a while since I've uh, released a video so I want to get this one out to you guys um I'll work on this for next episode and uh, hopefully can present you with a working system. Anyway, until next time guys, take care of yourselves.